Thanks for staying with us. So the Lagos State Governor, Baba Jide Olushala Sanwolu, recently signed a bill regulating real estate transactions in Lagos State, most especially transactions with real estate agents. Joining us on the show is a special advisor to the Governor on Housing, Barista Tuke Bensi Awuni. Are we in cap? Good. So you can call us 081-270-53687-091-390-7694. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. All right. So tell us, tell us in, in a nutshell what this bill is about and what it hopes to achieve. Thank you, Mariah. Um, I think I've been here severally. Yes. We've spoken about it. We've spoken about the challenges and the industry. We've spoken about the responsibility of government to make sure that there's sanity in the polity. So basically what the bill tells you to do is that you must register with the state government. The state government is here to wield the big stick because that is what we need to do. Um, there's so much going on in that industry. It's become a challenge to us. We want to be known for good things as a state government and as a state doing business. We want our developers and agents to conform with global best practices. So the bill um, tells you, as an agent, developer, realtor, in any capacity, along the entire value chain, we need to know who you are, we need to know what you do, because the box stops on the mm -hmm. table of the governor when mm -hmm. anything goes wrong. So it um, is also a bill that helps the state government compile data on who is in the business, what you are doing in the business, the transactions ongoing in the business so that we can defend it. Um, we're subnational, and most times when our developers go out and they bring in foreign funds, um, it still goes into the GDP of the mm, state, right. saying that, oh, this is what Lagos State is doing in that sector. So that bill is basically to sanitize, to regulate the industry and mm. make sure that everybody who is in that industry mm. is known to okay. government. All right, let me go to a quick break. When we come back, we continue. Stay with us, break back. Stay tuned. Your view will be... Thanks for staying with us. All right, so Busy has a question here. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I want to speak on behalf of the people now. I know that uh, one of the reasons a lot of people do not jump into registration for things like this is the ease of registering. There's always this long, hectic, cumbersome, cumbersome process, especially when it has to do with government. How easy is this registration? And how affordable is it for people who are just getting into the business, like my darling sister here? <laughs> So part of the things that we've put together is an online registration scheme okay. um, where you don't even have to meet with an agent of the government. All you need to do is go on lasuria.legostate.gov.ng, look at your requirements, um, fill in the form, create a profile for yourself. You can go there in your time, um, log in your documents. We get everything in the back end. You register. It actually prints out for you or it gives you a temporary... Um, permit that you can use to work for 30 days. But within those 30 days, we we'll send you the actual permit. So it's not Great. anything that um, is cumbersome. cumbersome. Yeah. We're actually fighting for the mm. ease of doing business in Lagos. We want, we know what it is, but really you cannot blame government mm. because mm. everybody lives, works, does business in Lagos. Right. So the volume, the volume mm. is what, what is the problem with the state government when it comes to processes. Right. But now we're all going digital, everybody. Yeah, most ministries, even the Lands Bureau, everywhere the fiscal planning um, um, uh, ministry is also putting it in place for you to be able to register online. online. So yes, affordability is um, also there. Um, for our list agents, I think it's about 25,000 Naira for mm. you to register per annum. Um, the next category is 55,000. Then we have the 105, and then we have the 1 million. The 1 million are, is for people who are developing estates, mm -hmm. um, that's multiple cheap. units. Right. That's cheap. Yeah. That's so, 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 Sweetie, you hear that? yeah. that's, that's cheap. cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nah, it's okay. You see, I'm, I'm happy that there is, the government is looking towards real estate. Mm -hmm. I think that it is, it's a major moneymaker. Lagos is land. Land is Lagos. Um, however, I would like the government not to see it just as a money-making drive because... Whenever I travel, my goal is to experience the real estate industry where I go to. And I realize that as a registered realtor, you do, or a registered broker in a state. So let me give an example of, I went to two states to investigate this thing. And in, in Indianapolis, right from your laptop, because you are a registered member, 
I don't need to pay a lawyer or pay something general to check the status of the land. I can check the land because I want to buy it. I can find out if the land is free. I can find out if there's acquisition. I can find out the process of confirming the acquisition. That integration between me as, an, as a developer, because I am a registered member, and the, the land and so your general's office, do we have that in, Nigeria, in Lagos yet? There's because a sink. what exactly am I paying for? Right, OK. Thank you so much, Tokwe, because you have taken me into another realm. So we have something we call the GIS um, mm -hmm. program in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. And um, we've been working on it in the last four or five years. Fortunately, right now, I can tell you that we're almost at completion. And everything that you have spoken about, mm -hmm. everything about the history of that parcel of land mm -hmm. that you want to buy is in that system, mm -hmm. where you just go in there, you mm -hmm. want to apply for something, you can look at it. It has the mapping system. It has the entire mapping system of Lagos State. Mm -hmm. It has the transaction history of that land you mm -hmm. want to buy. So we're actually doing everything yes. that you just said Fantastic. in the Lagos State yeah. government. Mm -hmm. It is working. It's going to, it, I think it's um, um, already started in the mm -hmm. Lands Bureau. So you don't have to do a fiscal yeah. interaction no, with that, anybody. That has anymore. always been in the Lands Bureau. I do search for properties. So that so this goes beyond search. All of that. This actually goes so beyond search. she's talking search. about going access. into transactions. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can do that online right mm -hmm. now. Yes. Yes. Wow. Now, good. let yes. me ask you about <coughs> resistance from people playing in that sector. Because they've had free lunch for many years. I mean, many of these, in fact, across Nigeria, free lunch, this um, NNPC is poorly regulated. That one, they're all making money. I mean, all and gas, they're making money. You know, one day, you enter all and gas, tomorrow you build a house. Because, mm. hey, nobody's collecting taxes. Yeah. Exactly. Same thing with lands and uh, real estate. Exactly. People have been having free lunch for many years. And now, you're coming, your government is coming and say, ah, this is money people are carrying up and down. Let us find no, a way no, to no. ensure you're properly taxed. What kind of resistance are you finding with the players? Are they resisting, or are you no, finding success where they say, okay, come on, tax, and we'll pay? Are they willing? So, Mariah, it, to us, it's not about the money. It's about capturing data, and it's about um, watching out for the people. So it's, it's a two-way street. We have the developers. We need to make sure we create an enabling environment for them to thrive. So we are not looking at, oh, we need to tax them. So when there's transparency in that sector, when there's a proper governance structure for those developers, then they can go out and they can get foreign loans and foreign um, mm. investment mm. to bring it in. On the side of the tenants and the off-takers, we are also organized stakeholders where we educate them, engage with them yearly on everything they need to know about the system. We also tell them that once you have a problem, our tables or our doors are open. Mm. So we have series of petitions from different people in Lagos State on, oh, this developer has done this, I've paid this money in the last three, four years, mm -hmm. I have not gotten my allocation, mm -hmm. I have not gotten my land, I paid for a flat, it's not ready, the developer is telling me, oh, this is not available, you have to go into another um, scheme that I'm just about to begin. So this agency has been saddled with that responsibility and we already took off on doing mm -hmm. petitions. We have a committee of inquiry which the governor has signed um, and is um, putting in people from different sectors in the built industry and is telling them, okay, you sit down as a body, Listen to these peti petitions. Those that don't have to go to court, let's settle them through this mm. mediation process. Mm. So we also free our law courts from, from, from that um, congestion. congestion. Yes. So it's, it's a two-way street. Mm. It's the developer, the agent, the off-taker, the general public. Before I come to Nima, let me be sure I understand you. So there's somebody watching TV right now who <laughs> paid for an apartment. Yes. And the developer is saying, ah, sorry, oh, we, can't, uh, we don't have the money to complete. So come and take another scheme. They can write a petition. Definitely. And We've been getting petitions oh, and we've been resolving such matters. Dima, so I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. I wanted to ask the speed to resolve because some mm -hmm. of our petitions are hanging. I wrote a petition in 2019 on such, and before I got an appointment with the Registrar of Title, I think it was until at 2019 February on, on, until August, July, August, before I got an appointment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for that purpose. So, how fast is it now? Is it because, you know, there's ease? Is there ease now? Is it quick? When a petition comes, does it come directly to you? Or do yes, you still have there, to go through? There's ease the now. So if it's a real estate matter, you can actually come into Las Rira or write to Las Rira and you have this committee of inquiries <coughs> that is ready to sit down and listen to everything that you have to say. So in 2019, we just came in as a government. You said the Registrar of Titles. So, you know, the transition process from one yes, government was, to the yes. other. So that must have been what yes. held it up. Mm -hmm. But right now, we are... 
on top of that, on but top of what, what's the sort of resolution that happens? Because I feel I've I I've, I've visited. I was at the launch of Las Rera, and I know it is really, really. I'm I'm hoping everything will work flawlessly because we are we're wonderful with ideas, and I believe that you're passionate about leaving a positive impact in this industry. However, I'm worried as a developer that I'm left to my honesty. And there are many dishonest people, and I have to carry the burden of the dishonest ones because I have to prove that I'm an honest person. Now, if a dishonest person has come to report this situation, what are you, what, 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 how, how do you do hold me responsible mm -hmm. if for any reason somebody is held, like found to have oversold a plot of land? You have a hundred plots and you sold 200. Mm -hmm. Now, you have only allocated a hundred and the other people are, are looking for justice. What can you do? What will be done? We'll make sure you do a refund. Okay. We we'll make sure you do a refund. We okay. will go through the normal process of the law. If possible, charge you to court if we think that um, that's the only way to what, get it what, out. What, what, what okay. you're doing is wrong. Okay. We work with um, various um, government Ministries. agencies, the Ministry of um, Justice, the Office of the DPP. We work with the state CID in Panty for criminal matters, and uh, we're working with the judiciary. Um, this will give people confidence, investors confidence. Exactly. In We're not the exactly. that has the department for, for um, land grabbing. Yes. And we, I wanted to know how that department works with you. because There's a synergy, yes. There has to be because petitions are lying on the physical planning, mm -hmm. land grabbing for years now. Mm -hmm. and have not been attended to. So you have people who have not only grabbed, they built an even open house and already mm -hmm. living on somebody's property and the petition as to ownership and clarity is already with the right ministry. So what synergy um, do you uh, do Fortunately and unfortunately, this agency is just coming on board. And I think, I believe it's going to resolve a number yes. of those issues. It's going to relieve physical planning ministry of petitions yes. because then this agency would be dealing with petitions in real estate. Um, and then it will also help um, land grabbers to also relieve them of some of the responsibilities. And because this agency would have sorted out which goes to which, which goes to what, and which needs to go to the yeah. state CID and the office of the DPP for prosecution. The two of us seem to okay. be firing questions. Yes, so, <laughs> so, what's uh, the penalty for uh, agencies who do not register with Lagos State Government? Because I know, is there like a time frame for everyone who's already operating to mm -hmm. come into So if, if you notice, um, we've actually been advocating registration. And um, one of the reasons, before I go into the penalty, one of the reasons that we are insisting that we know what is going on in that industry is because of our physical planning laws as well. Um, we need to know if a developer is building 250 units in a place that had only about 50 people there. There's um, pressure on our infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There's pressure on the roads. We mm -hmm. have to create roads in that area. Um, there's pressure on our um, sewage um, systems. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's pressure on the water systems. Right. So if we do not know what you're doing as a developer, then we cannot provide the complementary infrastructure. And that's the reason why we are, we are hell-bent on it, that we need to know what transactions are going exactly. on, what developments are going on. Because if that developer puts the... Um, cost of infrastructure into the cost of building, it becomes a problem. And um, you, you just cannot do it. Right. We just cannot do it. So on um, penalties, yes, there are stated penalties um, for um, defaulting agents or practitioners. I believe there's a monetary sum and there's also a deterrent uh, monetary sum that tells you that um, for every day of the week or for every day that you continue to practice without being registered, you pay that sum apart from the initial um, sum that Involved. has been applied. Let me ask, yeah. I know, I've probably asked this question before, but let me ask for, for, for regular people, regular folks who want to get an apartment and they're looking for credible agents. Recently, I was trying to get an mm -hmm. apartment for somebody mm -hmm. and we're looking for an agent that was registered in a certain area because we got swindled twice. <laughs> but we mm. paid money to somebody. And then by the time we spoke to the landlord, the landlord said, I'm not aware of this agent. I did not send any message. And the guy disappeared <clears throat> twice. So it was a third transaction for the same person. I said, I'm not, I need, I said, I call anybody, like, please, do you need a registered agent? So regular folks are watching, so they're thinking, mm. okay, how do I start? Where do we go to find registered agents within our community? To lasrira.legostate.gov.ng. So we've um, created a search engine whereby every developer that registered with the state government, every developer that is registered with the state government, we put your information on there. We're doing this because we also have people in the diaspora who are falling victim exactly. to a number of the things that you're talking about. So we don't expect them to fly down to come and get um, that um, inquiry. 
who can I deal with, who can I deal with. So we expect that those um, um, developers registered, those agents registered, are actually logged onto the system of Lagos State Government. You can pick somebody there. For you to find somebody there, it means that we have done due diligence. Mm. And that's the reason why we're saying we want that data. We need to know what you're doing. We right. need to know where you are. Right. We need to know what transactions you're going into so that when people get um, swindled, we know where to go to. Okay. Mm. We don't want people carrying placard every day of the week. Okay. Every day of the week, <laughs> saying, um, yeah. Governor Sonwolu, we need you to come to our yeah. aid. Yeah. Um, yeah. 250 yeah. people. Let me just quickly throw in people. this question. One of the things that make doing business tough in Nigeria is the change of government and change in policy. Like some policies will just stop after an administration moves so on. So this is not a policy. This is an agency of government that has come into existence. Mm. It is here to stay because people like you, you would make it work. There's a yes. law back in it. Oh, that's the law that was just signed last hey, week. Hey, then I want people people to know so that yes, people can be sure that. It's, it's, not, a it's, it's, it's not a policy. It's yeah. a law, it's an agency, mm. and it's here to regulate the transactions. So, so of the collapse within Yaba made the news over the weekend, yes. and sadly, sadly, five people mm. have died. What's, what's Lagos State looking to do with the developer and the um, engineers on that building? So I believe um, um, at the last um, collapse building, the Lagos State government set up a committee. And I know that that committee has um, submitted its report. The white paper, I think, will be out any minute from now. Um, I believe some of the things that they have said is that they also want to be watchdogs in the industry. That's the professional associations. They want to be watchdogs in the industry. And we expect that every association of professional association is ready to make sure that whoever certifies maybe structural developments or um, architectural developments and is found wanting, is made to face the proper, proper um, um, wrath of the law. And we as a state government, we are also putting in checks and measures to make sure that those things cease to continue cease to happen in our system. Mm. And that's why we must know who the developers are. Fiscal planning is there to make sure that those permits are there. LAPCA is there to make sure that they do stage management and stage certifications right. of whatever you're doing. And so that we can all work together as agencies of government right. to make sure that um, that sector is properly sanitized. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all we can take on the show. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure having you, you to learn more about the real Thank estate. You. And this was saying earlier that a lot of members of your cabinet seem to be very eloquent, yes. yeah. articulate about what you do. So Kudos to Mr. Governor. Okay. <laughs> that's all we can take on the show today. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now.